What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, three-time junior middleweight world champion, undisputed junior middleweight world champion, top five pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world, Jamel Iron Man Charlo, who has done something that only few fighters have done, one being heavyweight, Hall of Fame, iconic, British-American Jamaican superstar boxer Lennox Lewis. That's Jamel Charlo has beaten every fighter he's ever faced. Even the fact that Jamel Charlo has a record of 35 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. Jamel Charlo has arranged those two that two blemishes on his record, the loss and the draw, in brutal knockout fashion. With that said, Jamal Charlo, excuse me, Jamel Charlo is daring to be great September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, where he's going to face four-division world champion, Mexican superstar Barca, who's currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, facial-wise. And that's Saul Canelo Alvarez. And when I say facial-wise, I mean, pound for pound, people claim that Canelo Alvarez is the face of the sport of boxing, right? So with that said, Canelo Alvarez has a record of 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 70-inch armage. And again, pound for pound, number one face of the sport of boxing, as many people consider him. Now, he does have competition in that area. But nonetheless, Jamel Charlo is daring to be great. He's going to jump up from 154 to 168, September 30th. But not with another fighter not in mind. And that's undefeated, three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, who is widely recognized as the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. And that's Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 40 wins, no loss and no draw. 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age. He'll be 36 in September. 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch armage. Now, Terrence Crawford just faced off against Jamel Charlo's close friend, stable mate, and training partner in former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is top 10 pound-for-pound pound best fighters in the world, and Earl The Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72-inch armage. They faced off July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. And Errol Spence, shockingly, was absolutely outclassed and dominated in that fight. He was dropped in the second round, twice in the seventh round, and stopped in the ninth round. But in those rounds in between, he was battered in those rounds. That being third, fourth, fifth, sixth round, and then the eighth round as well. Now, I gave Errol Spence the first round. But in the seventh round, what's important for this particular video is that in the seventh round, when Terrence Crawford dropped Errol Spence, he made his way to the corner to make sure he addressed Jamel Charlo, where he was sitting in his seat to let Jamel Charlo know, you're next. So Jamel Charlo, he has that big fight coming up with Canelo Alvarez as he's daring to be great, but not without Terrence Crawford in mind. As Jamel Charlo said, he absolutely must face Terrence Crawford after this fight with Canelo Alvarez. Listen what he said. Man, don't bite off too much you can chew, you know? Mm. Don't, write a, write, don't write a check your ass can't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. I'm, I'm one of those ones. Yeah. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you got to face me. You got to gotta see what you want. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I definitely, I've seen you. So he said, you got to face me. I got to see what you want, right? Uh, and shout out to Cigar Talk uh, for this interview with Jamel Charlo. This is on Cigar Talk. You can hear the full interview in its totality uh, on YouTube at Cigar Talk. So Jamel Charlo said, I'm one of them ones. Terrence Crawford wrote a check. He going to have to answer. So he said that, you know, I got to revisit that fight with Terrence Crawford. It got to happen. Post, he was like, you know, after we do this, we can do whatever we do. Um, does the fight with Errol add to motivation for that at all? Or is it just so you see a brother at Cigar Talk is saying, is the Errol Spence motivation 
to fight Terrence Crawford. You, essentially, he's a close friend, stable mate to get your get back in favor of Errol Spence. Same thing. Like yeah, that. It's, it's, a, it's a fire. It's a, uh, a pilot. Yeah. It's a pilot um, <laughs> on, 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 the, on the stove. When, when, when you light that stove a bunch of times, it, poof, it just bursts out. So sometimes I just hold back and I just allow, you know, to idle in a, in a position. And yeah. when I get done with this one, uh, you know, I'm going to move on to, to, to that situation. Yeah. I'll take care. So then he goes on. I don't want to play the interview in its totality. Uh, but he says, he goes on to say, once I'm done with Canelo Alvarez, I'm moving on directly to that situation with Terrence Bud Crawford. I got to take care of all my business with anybody that mentions my name. He said, I take care of my business. So you best believe that after this fight with Canelo Alvarez, I'm going to entertain and pursue Terrence Bud Crawford, which is ironic because Terrence Crawford is recently stating that his highest weight class now He's interested in going and being a three-division undisputed world champion. He's currently a two-division undisputed world champion and became the first male to become undisputed in two separate weight classes. Now he wants to become a three-division undisputed champion, and he stated that would be some massive shoes for anybody coming up behind me to fill. And his sights were set on perfectly. The storyline was perfect for him to face off against Jamel Charlo, who's the undisputed junior middleweight champion. Now, Terrence Crawford is contractually obligated to fulfill a rematch clause with Errol Spence that, you know, many people felt like the Errol Spence 30-day uh, uh, rematch clause, you know, uh, that he had to petition for if that date passed, okay? Uh, that date was actually yesterday. And so with that said, there's many people speculating that Errol Spence may or may not take the rematch, right? He might let it go. You know, uh, people are saying that there's no need for a rematch, but he's contractually obligated. And nonetheless, his sights were setting on going to 154, and Errol Spence wants to rematch at 154. And he was going to rematch Errol Spence and then move on to Jamel Charlo at 154. But shockingly, to many people's surprise, including Terrence Crawford, Jamel Charlo has decided that he's going to move up to super middleweight. So now Terrence Crawford said his ceiling for his career, as far as moving up, was 154. Now he has since changed his stance and he stated that he would like to face Canelo Alvarez at a catchweight of 160 if Canelo Alvarez beat Jamel Charlo. Then he changed that stance and said, well, in all reality, now that I sat and thought about it, I don't mind going up to the full 168 pound because I'm a better skilled, quicker, more talented fighter. So I could go up to 168 and challenge either one of those guys. Right. And so with that said, if Jamel Charlo wins, now Jamel Charlo stated that he beats Canelo. He's coming back down to defend his throne at 154, where he's still an undisputed champion. But surprise, the WBO, World Boxing Organization, decided to step in and remove him as the undisputed champion and elevate Australian star boxer Tim Zhu, son of a legend, to the WBO super champion. So they stated that after Jamel Charlo is introduced, okay, after Jamel Charlo is introduced on the 30th, then he will no longer be the WBO champion. Tim Zhu will be. He'll be a unified champion at that point in time. So come back down to defend what throne. Then he stated that, well, I'll come back down, fight Tim Zhu and Terrence Crawford. I, I'm hard pressed to see Jamel Char at 33, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach, go up to his one. I don't want to say his comfort, his natural weight, but a comfortable weight for his body frame at 168, then come all the way back down to 154 or below. I'm hard pressed to see him do that. So now it makes it just that much more interesting because guess what? If Jamel Charlo beats Ter Canelo Alvarez, he'll be the undisputed champion in two separate weight classes, the second fighter to do it, second male, and the third fighter overall in history to hold all four, san four, san four sanctioned major belts. And that would give Terrence Crawford the opportunity to become a three-division champion just at 168, not at 154. So things are heating up between the two. The storyline is deep. First things first, we got to see what happens with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. That's first things first. <clears throat> and also, we got to see what happens with Jamel Charlo and Canelo Alvarez. Although Terrence Crawford says it doesn't even matter if it's Jamel Charlo or Canelo Alvarez. I'm going to 168 after this rematch with Errol Spence. So this is interesting. For the body frame of er uh, Jamel Charlo, I think at 168 for Terrence Crawford, it's going to be a tougher fight against Jamel Charlo at 168 than it's going to be for uh, 
him against Canelo Alvarez, who's a smaller, uh, he's five foot eight, maybe five foot seven and a half, 70 inch army. So Terrence Crawford is slightly taller, longer arms, you know, than Canelo Alvarez. But Jamel Charlo is going to fill out enormous at 168. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.